last time I slept with I'd have been 43. But back in the day I slept with for nearly uh, seven and a half years, never seen a roof, never seen a bed. I used to work, because obviously from Irish, so I used to work with the uncles or some of the gypsy bedroom. And then I fell into, uh, fell into uh, crime, not by choice. I mean, I used to go three, four days without eating, three, four days without sleep. I mean, I was literally zombified. You lose all sense of logic, morality. Uh, what's the point? Do you know what I mean? It's a, I mean, psychologically and physically, it's a, it's a nightmare. I hear it all the time when I walk through the town. Oh, dog, I get noon, dog, I get... But the way this country's going, they could easily be in the same position and they would not have a clue. They wouldn't last a week on the, on the street. They would, would not have a clue. It's a long story really, but I was an addict for over 20 years. I had an alcohol problem, didn't have a job, and now I've gone five years without nothing and trying to get back into the workplace. The new kid on the block is Black Mamba, and that's nasty stuff. MPS, the new psychoactive substances, that's the whole thing of them, and there used to be hundreds of them, and the, the man-made, the horrible stuff. Since it went illegal, they made it illegal, it's got ten times worse. Because it was known as legalised. You could give it a shot, buy it, bang. And it was bad then. But now they've uh, made it illegal, it's worse. Uh, price has gone up. Price has gone up. It's got four times as much, five times as much. Prison is when it probably started. But, uh, you know, try this new stuff, try this stuff. And now all the addicts want to try new stuff and new stuff and new stuff. Get higher and higher and higher. Better, bigger. and Until people are going to start smoking and pass out. If you might addict... You will get what you want, no matter what. I did. So uh, if you want it, you'll get it. I'd say 90% of the time, if you see a homeless person, they are probably either an alcoholic or drug user or something like that. I think the two go hand in hand. If you're running around the streets and you've got it's freezing cold and you've got nothing to do, you're going to do it, I did it. Just to kill the day, kill the time, kill the, you know, get to sleep. So you take substances, then you, you get accustomed to it, you get addicted to it, then it takes over your life, it's a vicious circle. I only had a small stint on the streets, but I was sofa surfing for about seven years. I didn't have a property, so it was sofa surf, sofa surf street. It's not very nice, but uh, it's quite hard to think about really what it was like. But uh, You can get sworn at, thrown at, spat at. Uh, hit, hit, punched, uh, called all sorts of things under the name. On the back of that, the very next day, they, they love you to pieces and they're all over you. So you get the rough with the smooth. But it's, it's not nice, it's, it's, it's not nice to be homeless. And then you develop something that you're not really. You become a monster, you become somebody else.